A JSO patrol cruiser sit in front of this home on Ivy Street where five-year-old Taylor Williams was last seen. It's been an entire day of combing the Brentwood neighborhood. Police going door to door, asking everyone if they've seen the little girl, making sure no corner or crevice is left unchecked. Officers searching by horseback with highly trained canines and by air with drones and helicopters. A community coming together searching and praying for the beautiful five-year-old. We're a community. We're supposed to be here for each other. Are you hoping they find this child? I do. I do. I hope they find her safe and sound. It's been around 22 hours since the last time someone reported seeing Taylor Williams. A family member checked on the little girl in bed about midnight, and when she checked on Taylor this morning, the girl was gone. The News for Jack's team is covering the areas that police are focusing on in their search. Joy Purdy is at the JSO Mobile Command Center in Brentwood tonight. And Joy, what's the situation there? Yes, Kent, we are at the corner of Brentwood Boulevard and Norwood Avenue. You can see behind me a lot of police cars you saw during the daylight hours. They have left. Jacksonville Fire and Rescue has pulled their units from this area as well. But this is still a very active search for this little girl. You can see the command center, that bus object way in the back there. JSO manning that command center all night long as they search for Taylor Williams. We're going to show you her picture again as I give you a description of her. They could really use your help investigators tonight looking for this little girl. She is five years old. She's got black hair, brown eyes. She's about three feet tall, weighs about 50 pounds. She was last seen wearing a pink and purple short sleeve pajama outfit. We're told she was last seen by a family member about midnight. Then at 720 this morning, she was reported missing. The person who called that into the police saying that the back door of the house was unlocked. Massive search started here in the Brentwood area near the little girl's home as well as over on the south side of this as the south side villas apartments. That's where we're told the mother and the little girl last lived just up until this weekend when they moved here to the Brentwood area. Of course, two hours after she was reported missing this morning, an Amber Alert went out alerting all of Florida about this little girl's disappearance. Now you see this crime scene tape behind me still set up in this area in case police are called back here in mass, but the crime scene tape has been taken down around the little girl's home on Ivy Street. That's where we're joined by News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson. Scott, we do understand though police are securing the home overnight. They are, Joy. This was a large crime scene a few hours ago. Multiple blocks on Ivy Street here roped off. You couldn't get in. That's changed. It's all centered now on the house where the people are saying that the little girl disappeared from and that back door was remain unlocked. There are JSO cruisers parked in front of it tonight. The light is on indoors. This house is now under the control of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, who is still on the hunt for this little girl. Police cruisers throughout the night are here at the family home. Taylor's family only moved here days ago and questions are swirling around how she could have disappeared. Police have been told she wasn't in her room and the back door was unlocked to the home. I haven't seen her the whole time they've been moved in. Did you even know that family was living here? At the I time? knew they moved in and I saw the kid's stuff, but I never actually seen the kid like the whole time. We were but you here. did see a child's items here. Yeah, I saw all of, her, all of her stuff, just never her. I talked to one person who showed up to help in the search. He says watching the story unfold throughout the day and having little apparent progress has been frustrating. I don't know, none of the I'm stories are adding thing. up. It's just a bunch it's of conflicting stories and it just it really is. It's just really not making sense and it's kind of bothering us. Throughout the night, community members have been in the neighborhood keeping a lookout for the little girl, hoping she can be found. And so police will continue. They say they're not giving up by any stretch of the means, which is why they have the house secured. The search continues. One thing that was still somewhat unclear from the JSO news conference earlier tonight is why did they go from here searching in Brentwood all the way to the south side? They said maybe the little girl made her way over there. Well, we don't know how a five year old would have done that. So something JSO needs to clarify for us is how exactly they got that information to say we're searching here. Now we're searching at the family's old home. We're live in Brentwood. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.